Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. I'm at the old Haraldon ruins today and this was a mod that was recommended to me by one of my viewers, Urban Exotic, after I'd uh, been to visit Soldier of Wars mod uh, for this town. And so I'm right outside my Divine Elegance store. They play together beautifully and here's old Haraldon, so no issues. And wow, it adds so much to this landscape. Not only do you get these amazing ruins, there's also, I mean, look at that archway. That is just amazing with the mountains behind it. Uh, there's also a player home of sorts. Not very salubrious, but hey, <laughs> it's free. can't get over these towers it's just so stunning law friendly and gorgeous and a dungeon we just had a lot of fun there's only a small one but you know nevertheless better than better than none at all look at the view from out here gorgeous isn't it that bright green ivy just sticks out like a sore thumb over there and I've got a floating tree. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Probably nothing to do with this mod, but simply by virtue of the fact that I have messed about with this area a bit now. Oh, it's a gorgeous day. Let's go in this way because this is where the main sort of town area is, I guess you'd call it. There's also quite the backstory with this. And you'll see some notes here on this plinth. Do pick up the readings because they're ever so interesting. Little graveyard. Very fitting. And the player home, I'll just show you that before the dungeon. It all looks knocked about, doesn't it? And ancient. Pretty fab, actually. Um, obviously, the pub's still here. And there's this guy over here who's a vendor. Rashid. He was working on his house earlier. Mm. And he just sells general bits Take and bobs. Well, that's cool. He also had about oh, 1,500 right gold, I think, so... Andy. Everywhere I point the camera in this mod, it looks amazing. Okay, so the player home, it's this over here, the abandoned house, and it's free, so don't be expecting wonderful things, but I tell you, it's got everything you need in the way of crafting, plus a nice warm fire, a cooking pot, a bed for Inigo and I, storage, most dead animal heads, Plenty of bits and pieces actually scattered throughout this place. Oh, there's also a book here. It tells you about the uh, dungeon. And this is quite the tale. And it goes on. And it's a really good read. Good story. Okay, and then... See what I mean? It isn't very salubrious, but... Here's a full set of smithing equipment right here and bags of storage. It's neat. I like the forge. I'm going to fill up your water bottles. And then alchemy and enchanting. Plus there's also a book here too, just in case you missed the first one. And, like I say, bits and bobs. Bookcases. 
and random things. Plus some potions and ingredients. The dungeon wasn't tough, but they did all come at me at once, so I was glad that I had Inigo with me. Okay, so the ruins themselves are quite fun to explore. But the Undercroft is also really cool. I love the idea of having an extra dungeon just added in there. That works for me. And these guard towers? They're like... <laughs> I don't know, a privy at the bottom and then... I mean, it is fully manned. In the name of the Yard, I'm ordering you to stand fast. Go away. Stupid Markov, stupid Sidna mine quest. Been avoiding it for months. <laughs> oh, look at that down there. The beautiful flowers. That's from flower fields that I'm forever banging on about. Oh, there's another guard. So, yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Where's my where's my cart? Okay. That's my marker as to how to get there. It's just down here. Oh, would you look at that. Oh god, this land is so beautiful. And there's a little note here. The Jarl is are telling you you're going to be arrested if you go in in violation of his uh, edict. Well, pff. No, the story is terrific. There's a... Uh, the place is basically haunted by all the ghosts of the people that were defeated. And there's a little note by Chief Tardek. Basically saying we're going to haunt your asses down here, so don't come down. A great looking dungeon, isn't it? There are bits and pieces to take. Um, there are chests hidden around and strong boxes. And there are just a couple of mobs out here. Mind the trap. And then as you come through here, they're all like, yay! And they all start charging at you. <laughs> as you can see. Take my arrows back. These Dravissa's arrows are from the... Um, Shades of the Rift uh, mod, which has the dungeon. So, yeah, look at this place. This was fun, and it's... You don't have to be crazy to live here, but it helps. <laughs> he's, he's not wrong. Uh, now I've lost my train of thought. But, uh, yeah, the dungeon was fun, and I haven't bothered looting any of these urns and things. There are, you know, bits of gold and stuff to take make it worth your while and yeah it goes on so not that big of a dungeon but nevertheless it was fun And it's all very in keeping. I think that's what I like so much about this. It's just all fits together really nicely. There's a set of Forsworn armor in here, if you don't just bother looting it from the mobs. Neat. Oops, sorry, Inigo. Oh, God. Poor guy, he has such a lot to put up with. I like this whole sunken effect, don't you, with the water? That is nice. Okay, so, oh, I think that covers... What are you doing? 
Oh, he's on one. I think that covers just about all of the main features of the uh, mod. So I'm going to leave you with that fantastic view and call that the end of this video. Thanks Urban Exotic for the recommendation. I love it. And I'll see you all very soon for the next one. Take care.